Hello everyone, boys and girls. In this video, I will show you how to make this kind of animation in After Effects. So, without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, create a new composition with a width of 1080 and height 1080, duration 20 seconds. Hit OK. Next, let's lay the foundation. Right click in the timeline, go to New, Solid Layer, and name it Background. Click OK to add it. Now, let's add some visuals. Drag a map image into your timeline and scale it up to fit nicely. This map is going to set the scene for our animation, so position is just right. Import a plane image, adjust position and scale, and then duplicate twice to create three planes. Arrange them in cool formation by adjusting the position and scale. Select all three and right click to pre compose them. Name this pre comp something like playing group and don't forget to make them 3D by clicking the 3D cube icon. If you don't see it, hit F4 or toggle switches slash modes option. Let's get those planes moving. Set a position keyframe for the playing group and place it down, then move a few frames forward and as the position upward to create a smooth flight path. Right click the keyframes, select easy ease for that polished look. And enable motion blur by clicking the little circle icon. Now let's add some atmosphere. Bring in a cloud image as its position and scale and place it below the playing group. Duplicate the cloud a few times, scatter them around for a natural look. and pre-compose them into a cloud group. Make this 3D. For a slow realism, add another cloud image. Scale it up slightly. Make it 3D. And animate a C position. Set a keyframe. Move a few frames forward and push the C value until the cloud disappears into the distance. To make this animation cinematic, right click and add a new camera. Place it at the top of the timeline. Then create a null object, right click new null object, make it 3D and use the pick whip to parallel the camera to the null. Set a position keyframe for the null, move a few frames forward and increase the C position to create a zooming effect. If the screen goes black, select the map, open its position settings and tweak the seek value to bring it back into the view. Now, go to Fisher Presets, search for motion type, apply it to the map, check mirror edges and set the output width and height to 500. This gives the map a seamless look. Let's duplicate the playing group, place it above the clouds, and delete these keyframes. frames. A 
as you can see the playing gob is in 3d space that's why we can see open map as you can see the position value is 2832 now what you have to do is adjust the position c value of this playing comb to something like close to this value Rotate the C axis to 90 degrees and scale it down. Set a new position keyframe and place it all the way to the left. Move a few frames forward and slide it to the right. Easy is those keyframes for smooth motion. Time to add some test. Use the type tool to create a test layer. Make it 3D and switch to two views next to active camera. Set the test. Grab the C axis. I position it in front of the camera. Switch back to one view. Tweak the scale and position. And hit F4 or toggle switch slash modes. Change the blend mode to darker. In effects of presets, add the typewriter effect. Attach the keyframes to make the test animate in dynamically. Let's spice things up with the flag image. Make it 3D, switch to two views and position it in front of camera. But behind the test, but this is C value. Use the pen tool to draw a rough mask around the flag circle. No need for perfection. Hit F4, change the blend mode to multiply and apply a tint effect. Pick a bold color for the tint. Press M to reveal the mask and reduce the mask exposure for a tighter fit. Set an opacity keyframe to 0, move a few frames forward and crank it to 100 for a slick fade in. Let's polish the map. Apply a tint effect to the map. Set a keyframe for the tint amount at 0. Move a few frames forward and set to 100. For the test, set a keyframe for the typewriter start at 100, move forward and set to 0.
change the map white to a vibrant color like red. Finally, add turbulent displays to the map. Set displacement to turbulent smoother. Hold Alt key or Option key or Mac. Click the evolution stop by icon. And add the expression. Time multiply 100. Set amount to 20. Size to 65 and complexity to 3. And also reduce the cloud group's opacity to 65 percentage. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, share and subscribe and I will see you on my next video.